You know, there have been some amazing White House moments during the early Trump administration, but none personally have touched me like the gathering on this opioid crisis today. I loved hearing the stories of people that cleaned themselves up, and of course I was touched by the mom who lost her son. You know, I got to tell you, I know the drug crisis in America firsthand to an extent that it impacts my life even right now every single day. I saw my first overdose when I was in the fourth grade and watching the horror as friends were trying to implore this guy, hey, hold on, don't go to sleep. I've lost dozens of friends and neighbors to the crack epidemic, which is still a scourge. So I was hoping that success and better neighborhoods would protect my children from the things that I saw. But I got to tell you, just a few years ago, a 19-year-old kid wandered into my backyard. We had an open gate. He banged on our glass sliding doors, and his eyes and my eyes, they connected. And I just saw in his face terror. He was dead less than an hour later. He was a white kid from an upper-middle-class neighborhood. And he died on the richest street in our town under a tree in my backyard. My son and my wife looked on. This is an American crisis that must be solved as nobody can hide from it and nobody is immune to it. Joining me now to discuss Dr. Howard Samuels. Dr. Samuels, thanks for joining. Uh, you know, it's one of these things I think America used to think well affected those people. It's in that neighborhood. Every single family in America to some degree has been impacted by it, haven't they? I, I got to tell you, Charlie, I mean, the story that you just recounted is has been my reality for 25 years because I've worked in the field of helping addicts and alcoholics. And I got to say, I mean, I started shooting heroin myself when I was 16 in 1968, okay? And what's really horrible is that back in 1968, there was tons of heroin in Washington, D.C., heroin in New York City, and all the cities, it was plentiful. But from 68, and I stopped shooting heroin in 1984, these days, it has spread like wildfire. Rural areas, Vermont, New Hampshire, Ohio, suburbs, it's, it's, it's an epidemic, like unbelievable. So a lot of people are saying you've got a two-pronged problem here. The, uh, the opioid part of this, uh, they say, happens from, from doctors uh, over-prescribing. In fact, some point to Obamacare, believe it or not, they say in the Center for Medical, uh, at the CMS, they have a $1.5 billion bonus, and it's part of a survey where, where you're actually asked, how, were your, how, how did they address your pain while you were in a hospital? And, and doctors and hospitals understand that they can't get this bonus if the patients don't say, yeah, they, they, you know, they kept me uh, hopped up on, on an opioid or something. So you, you've already got overprescriptions starting from that area, and then there's all kinds of other sources. Well, exactly. I mean, you know, with the OxyContin epidemic that, you know, with devastated communities, and then the OxyContin changed the makeup so you couldn't, like, dissolve the OxyContin anymore and shoot it. So then people started going right to heroin because OxyContin, Percocet, all those opiates were very expensive on the street in order to get. And you could only do so much doctor shopping before you get cut off. Now, heroin has become so much cheaper and with the Mexican cartels flooding areas with so much heroin it has become just insane Charlie Real I mean quick, my doc, unit, because we don't have hills, a lot of time I've got to ask what's the solution okay. I know people go to you on an individual basis but can, what about America the crisis in America in of itself how do we solve it well I got to tell you it's got to be police. I work with the police and the law enforcement all the time about taking heroin addicts and putting them in treatment like my treatment center, The Hills, in Los Angeles. Right. Okay. Now, it's about more treatment. It's not about sending these addicts to jail. It's about treatment, 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 and educating the families as to what to look out for, because everybody is susceptible to it. White, black, Asian, You're right. It's Hispanic, an American epidemic. You name it. Dr. Samuels, thank Absolutely. you very much. Really, really appreciate it.